Hello and good morning to those that are joining us on Facebook. So we're about to start our 30 minute glutes workout on Sunday morning. Um, you don't need any extra equipment, but I would recommend you have a water bottle and maybe a towel if you know you get hot quickly. Um, we're gonna do a nice little 30 minute workout, which includes a warm up and cool down. Just give it a minute in case anyone else is joining and then we will make a start. So hi, we've got Sam who's joined us on Zoom. We've got Wendy who's joined us on Zoom. Good morning, how are you? Hi. Excellent. Oh, Sam is outside, she's braving the elements again. <laughs> All right, so ladies, quick, if you haven't already done so, grab yourself your water, maybe a towel, and we're gonna start standing on our mats today. If you want to use music, set that up in the background. I've got a timer to help keep time on all of the exercises that we do anyway. Um, morning to those on Facebook. Right, let's do this, let's make a start. Let's get the glutes moving. All right, perfect. So we are gonna start standing on our mats. I think Ellie said she was gonna join us, she's not here yet. Okay, let me mute everybody anyway, pop the microphone in. So if you're on Zoom, change your setting to speaker view and then you should see this big face has a big screen. <laughs> there we go, okay. So we're gonna start marching on the spot, let's do this. So, left foot, right foot, just a nice gentle march, just on the spot. You can shake up the arms, give the shoulders a little roll at the same time if you wish. So just a little three minute warm up, a three minute cool down and stretch at the end, all for those leg muscles. Start to take the march a little wider and then in. So wide and narrow, wide and narrow. Good, bring the knees a little bit more bent, keep the chest up, that's it, we start to sink down. Now you can either keep with this single step march or if you're feeling a bit more ambitious, Jump it out, then step it in. So it's a little pause, jump, step, jump, and step. Or stay with the march on its own. The march is absolutely fine. So jump and step is your first option, or keep with your march. Perfect. Yeah, it's looking good, it's looking good. All right, now we're gonna start a step and tap, and st step and tap. Oh my God. Step and tap, <laughs> side to side. <laughs> so you're taking about a meter, maybe slightly less in terms of space, left to right. And in the foot that's behind, you're just lightly tapping the toes behind your ankle of your supporting leg. And again, you can either stay here, or if you're looking for something a little bit more energetic, start to turn it into a skater. So it's a little hop side to side. And instead of tapping the toes behind your ankle, you're just elevating the foot and lifting it just behind you. Good, nice, left to right, well done. Let's do two more. Awesome, and now we're gonna take him to a squat. If I turn sideways on, just send the hips back, start gentle, build up your range. So what we're looking for, morning eye, is that the shoulders are in line with the knees, resist the temptation to lean too much further forward. And then gradually start to deepen your squat as the hips and knees get a little bit warmer. So sinking the hips back, nice and gently, keeping the chest up. And again, you can stay with the squat on its own, or if you're feeling a bit more ambitious, a little lift onto the toes, a little hop, landing really lightly. You don't have to go far, keep it nice and gentle, lift and lower. Good. Two more, perfect. All right, if I come sideways on again, extend the leg, gently swing it forward. Extend and swing. Notice how the shoulders stay above the hips, standing leg is a little bit soft as you swing forwards and backwards. Lovely, change sides. Opposite leg, then we'll swing forward and back. Stay nice and tall. Think about tucking your tailbone, drawing the belly button in, so you stay nice and firm. Excellent. Let's go side to side. So the ankle kicks across, lifts out wide. Kicks across, lifts. Well done. Two more here, then we'll change legs, and we'll get ready for our first exercise. So swap sides. Our first exercise is a curtsy lunge, which we do a fair amount in the glutes class, but we're gonna repeat the same leg. So you guys keep swinging. It looks like this, hip distance apart. One leg comes behind, bring it to a high knee. Curtsy lunge, high knee. All right, so we're gonna stick with the same leg. In this case, it's my left leg is my base leg, stepping back with the right and lifting the knee. Ready? Let's go. Step back, lift the knee. Step back, lift the knee. Good, well done. So your base foot doesn't change position. And what you'll start to feel is the glutes working on both sides. Base leg, because you bend the knee, you bend the hip, and then the elevated leg as well. You're bending the knee and bending the hip. Try and keep hips and shoulders facing forward, standing tall as you lift your knee. Curtsy lunge, high knee. Good. 
Just over 10 seconds to go, and we'll change legs. So you start to feel the burn here. <laughs> here we go, last few seconds. Three, two, and one, well done. Shake it off, 10 seconds to change. Find your balance again. So we'll move straight onto the other side. So opposite leg, ankle behind, into your high knee. Here we go. Curtsy lunge, high knee. Curtsy lunge, high knee. First one always catches me out of balance. And then we get into the rhythm. Good, well done. So it's a little seesaw action. Knee is lifting, knee is lowering. Standing leg, staying in position, just bending and extending as you bring your knee up. We're halfway through already, well done. Lift and lower, lift and lower. We're hitting the ground for our next exercise, lying on our tummies for a half parachute. This is a very small movement, but it's very specific. Nearly there, five seconds to go. Chest stays up, lift the knee, bend it behind. Good, well done. Onto your tummies. Send your knees wide, bring your ankles together, allow the upper body to rest on the mat, and you're just gonna pulse your heels up and down. So it's really small. The knees might only come off the mat by an inch, maybe two, as you lift. Where your heels are connected, turn your toes out so they're in the same direction as your knees. Knees are wide, little lift and lower. Coming up to halfway, 20 seconds to go. Try and keep the upper body reasonably relaxed. You can bend your elbows, send them wide, make a pillow for the head. Just over 10 seconds to go, squeeze, lift. Nice bit of fire. Good, well done. Little pulses up and down. Three, two, one, well done. Bend your knees, send your hips over your heels, take a little reach forward, you can rock the body side to side. We've got an extra 10 seconds rest, and then we're gonna move on to repeat from the beginning again. Let me reset my mat, here we go. All right, so standing leg, left leg. So we've got our curtsy lunge with a high knee. Find your balance. Round two, here we go. Curtsy and lift. Curtsy and lift, good. So you're stepping behind you, but watch out for the hips swinging and changing direction. Try and keep the hips and shoulders facing the front. Lift and bend, up and down, good. Finding something to look at that's not moving, giving you a point of focus really helps. Position your hands wherever works for you, in front of the chest, on the hips, dancing out towards the side. <laughs> Just over 10 seconds to go. Lift and lower. Excellent, nice. And as an added bonus, we're working our hip flexor muscle too for the leg that's lifting. Little muscle here, cross sugar, crossing the knee joint. All right, find your balance. We get ready to change sides. Opposite leg behind. Three, two, one, let's go. Curtsy lunge, high knee. Curtsy lunge, high knee, excellent. So the pace is entirely up to you. Smooth, rhythmical, you set the speed. Excellent. Lift and lower, nice and smooth. Lightly on your back toes, bend the knee, angle it towards the ground, hips staying as square as you can. 15 seconds left to go. Half parachutes next, lying on our tummies. Excellent, looking good. Lift and lower. Last bit now. Five, four, three, two, and one, well done. Down to the ground, knees wide, ankles connected, or heels connected, should I say, turn your toes out. Sump through the upper body, pulse the heels up, let's go. Little lifts, up and down. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Remember it's small, it doesn't need to be a big movement at all. If the legs start to get a little bit fussy, you can do this one heel at a time, so let the heels disconnect, and just push on knee, one knee into the ground as the other heel lifts. We're halfway, 20 seconds to go. Lift and lower, small squeeze. Yes, I know, I feel it too. We're nearly there. Longer rest coming up. Chance for you to give the hips a little break. One more round of these exercises remaining. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, sink back, child's pose. Have a little rest. Rock your body between your knees. When you're ready, sip of water. And we'll come up to standing for our final round. 10 seconds to go. Here we are. All right, so we're upright, we find our balance. Curtsy lunge, high knee. Last time, here we go. Curtsy back and lift. Good, curtsy back and lift. Lovely, watch out that when you stand, 
that you don't hyperextend on your standing leg. Try and keep a little bit of softness. So there's always a tiny, tiny bend in your knee. And the chest is up nice and tall, resisting the temptation to lean forwards. Good. Curtsy and lift. Curtsy and lift. Nice. Standing leg getting a really good workout here. Well over halfway. 10 seconds to go. Excellent. So you choose the speed, you choose the range. Lift and lower. Three, two, and one. Well done, shake it off. Change sides. So find your balance, ready to curtsy. Pop the knee up nice and tall. Three, two, and one. Let's go. Awesome. Good. Lovely balance. Looking fab. Lift and lower. Standing tall. Bending into the back knee. Keeping the standing leg soft. Good, well done. Coming up to halfway with 20 seconds to go. Real fire building up in those muscles now. Yes, nice. Just over 10 seconds left. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Last time. Down onto your tummies, knees wide, heels connect, turn your toes out. Let's go, half parachute, 40 seconds, and go. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Good, well done. Remember, it is a super small exercise. It doesn't need to be a big movement at all. Little pulses, hover the knees up off the mat, kick the heels up to the ceiling. Coming up to halfway, 20 seconds to go. Lower back in your little workout as well. Remember, you can take single legs as an option if that is better for you. 10 seconds now. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Here we go. Count down for five, four, three, two, and one. Sit your heels back. Have a little stretch. All right, so I'll show us our next position. We're gonna come into a tabletop and we're gonna alternate between a donkey kick and a fire hydrant. So donkey kick, fire hydrant. Heel goes high, knee goes wide. Ready? Let's go. Heel and knee. Heel and knee. The rest of the body is in a tabletop position. You're drawing your belly button in, pushing the ground away so you're firm through your shoulders as you rotate hip out, hip narrow. Good. Coming up to 20 seconds. This one should kick in fairly quickly, especially after the curtsy lunges. I'm sorry. <laughs> and we've got two more rounds left to go after this one. <laughs> so the knee stays around 90 degrees. You kick the heel up towards the ceiling, much like you did in your parachute, and then lift the knee wide. Last few seconds. Three, two, and one. Well done. We're going straight to the other side, so if you need to push the hips back real quick. Changing legs, find your balance. So this time you're bending your knee. Lifting the heel up towards the ceiling on the opposite side. Take the knee wide, lift the heel up. Take the knee wide, lift the heel up. Good. As best you can, try and avoid the hips from swinging. They'll want to open out when you lift your knee wide. So if you need to take the level a little bit lower, just so that your hip doesn't swing and open up too much. You don't necessarily want to change the angle at the joint to cheat your way into the movement. Well over halfway, looking good. We're standing up for our next exercise with a little floor tap. 10 seconds to go. Kick wide, take the knee out. Yes, lovely, nearly there. Three, two, and one. Stand yourself up when you're ready. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna think about our middle narrow line and you're gonna take your opposite hand to foot, swap opposite hand to foot. So the body stays fairly low. This is one where if you wish, you can move faster tapping the floor. So there's a little bend at the knee, but a big hinge at the hip. Good. Little hop in between, or keep one foot on the ground at all times as you reach down. Good. Your speed, your pace, chance for you to get your heart rate up if that's what you need today. 15 seconds to go. My butt just hit the windowsill behind me. <laughs> nearly there, nearly there. 10 left. <laughs> Good, think about a long horizontal body position. Three, and two, and one. Well done, shake it off, shake it off. Quick sip of water if you need to. We'll come back down for our alternating fire hydrants 
and donkey kicks. So when you're ready, onto all fours. 10 seconds, then we go. Finding your balance, taking your first leg, bend in the knee, kick the heel up, here we go. And then the knee wide, heel up, knee wide. Good. Hips staying reasonably level, 90 degree bend-ish at the knee that you're working. Lift and lower. And as you got into your movement, suck the belly button in so you're firm in the middle. Long arms, tucking the chin ever so slightly. Little bit of space between chin and chest. Lengthening the back of the neck, well done. Good, nearly there. 10 seconds to go. Supporting leg, doing a little bit of work as well to keep us stable. Can't wait to lift that one next. Three, two, one, well done. 10 seconds, we change sides. So shift to the opposite leg, find your balance, draw your belly button in. Here we go, heel lifts, 90 degree bend. Kick it to the ceiling, take the knee wide. Kick to the ceiling, take the knee wide. Excellent, well done. Smooth, steady movements. So this is one that you don't need to rush. Avoid the momentum of your knee moving. Let the muscles actively transition your knee into its different positions. Wide and high. Good. 15 seconds to go now. Ooh. <laughs> Nearly there. 10 left, 10 left. Let's make them good ones. Another round of tapping the floor. Opposite hand to foot. In. Three, two, and one. Well done. Pop yourself up. So we're working lengthways along our mat or across the mat if you prefer. Taking one long step to the side. Opposite hand to foot. And changing. Let's go. So the low impact version, step and keep one foot on the floor at all times as you reach down. And if reaching the floor is out of range, just aim your hand in that direction. Or tap it to the floor completely and add a little bit of speed, lightly hopping from one leg to the other. Halfway, 20 seconds to go. Good. Now I'm resting my non-floor tapping hand on my thigh, but if you prefer to have it behind you, you can take more movement in the upper body. That's absolutely fine. Last few seconds now. Five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Shake it up, have a quick sip of water. 10 extra seconds rest. Final round. We're going into our donkey kicks and fire hydrants. 10 seconds to go. Okay, all fours, when you're ready. Bend your first leg, heel towards the ceiling. Let's go, kick it high, then take it wide. Gentle little swing, out and narrow. It's a really nice little bit of isolation work, this. <sighs> Lift and lower, wide, narrow, good. Heel high, heel close to the hips, that's it. Gentle rotation, excellent. So actively, the external rotation of the thigh taking place, <sighs> abducting it away, or abducting it away from you. It's a little bit easier to bring it back into your midline. Less than 10 seconds to go. One more round on the other side. Three, two, and one. Good. 10 seconds and we change legs. So find your balance, prepare your tabletop, lift your opposite knee, flex your foot. Here we go, 40 seconds this side. Wide and high. So adducting, external rotation, taking it away from you and then bringing it back narrow. That comes a little bit easier because it's almost like just centering everything again. It's not as active a movement to bring your knee back to its midline. It's like a reset. 20 seconds left to go, you're halfway. One more round to touch the floor, then a longer break coming and we're into our final block. This one's gonna test your balance a little bit as well. Mm. <laughs> but it's a good one, it's really good. Last few seconds, five, four, Three, two, and one. Well done. Pop yourself up to standing. Give the legs a quick shake. So here we go. Opposite hand to knee as you extend that same leg, and then we swap. Here we go. Tap and swap. Tap and swap. So ideally, the body stays low with this one, and it stays low because these are the muscles that we want to work. So with a hinge of the hips, the glutes working really nicely as you tap left to right. Good, well done. Body low, body flat, halfway, 20 seconds to go. If you're looking for that extra bit of fire, add some speed now. 
little bit quicker if that's in your repertoire today. Yes, nice. 10 seconds. Nearly there. Beautiful. Makes a nice noise on the mat if you've got that little hop. Well done. Shake it off. Well done. Breathe and drink. Wipe the face if you need. So we'll start our next round standing. This is the one that's going to test your balance. We're going to work from, with the right leg lifted, a high knee position to a kick back position. Same leg, high knee, kick back. Ready when you are, let's go. <laughs> so if you don't feel comfortable lowering the body, that's okay, you can stay upright. Just know that your leg will be a little bit lower. Keep your big toe close to your center line, pointing down towards the ground for this one. Chest up as you stand tall, kick back. Good, nice. Those of you that do yoga with me, warrior three, high knee. Long body, and you've got that lovely working section for your glutes as you extend your leg behind you. It's elevated and the leg is extending, glutes working. Kick the plant behind you. <laughs> Five seconds to go, and then we'll change legs. Kick back, stand tall, well done. So we haven't got far to go, give the legs a quick shake. Find your balance, opposite leg this time. The knee bends, the chest stays up. So remember we're hinging at the hips, leaning forward, kicking behind you, lifting the knee again. So hinging and kick, well done. Lean forward as much as you can, rise back up, perfect. Know that if you're not leaning forward as far, that's absolutely fine. It's the extension of the leg which is gonna be working the glute muscles. Hamstrings getting a little bit of a workout too, and your quads. Hinging and forward and standing tall. Just over 10 seconds to go. Lean and stand, well done. Base leg also doing a bit of work for us here to keep us stable and controlled. Five seconds left. Nearly there, nearly there. We're going to move to the end of our mat now. And we're going to come down into a low, wide squat and walk across the mat. Staying as low as you can. Here we go. Sumo squat walks. Low, low. <laughs> Beautiful. When you reach the end, tap and return. Stay low, stay low. Good, nice. This one always looks pretty awesome. As much bend in the knee as you can, keep the chest up. And I've got my hands here in the center of my chest to remind me to keep it lifted. So now arms are horizontal, but you position them elsewhere if you need to. Two or three steps left to right. Stay low, stay low. Good, and then change direction. 10 seconds left to go. Then this round will be done. We're only gonna do this twice more. That's it, nearly there. Three, two, and one. Shake it off, have a quick drink. Extra 10 seconds rest. Then we come back to our high knee, kicking back for the extensions. So this whole round is on our feet. Okay, find your balance. Right leg first, lifting it. Take your weight over the left, stand tall, ready to pivot from the hips. Kick back when you're ready, and bring it up tall. Kick back, and lift, well done. Nice and smooth. So looking just ahead of you, then down towards your mat. Squeeze, take a tiny pause as you extend your leg before you lift. Just give the muscles time to grab on. Halfway. Also for your standing leg, muscles in the foot and ankle working as you move, it's reacting to balance. Added bonus. Less than 10. Chest up, body long. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, give it a quick shake as we get ready to change sides. So standing up tall again, find your balance. Bend your knee to the little, I don't know what that was, little can-can. Here we go. <laughs> Lean forward, kick back, stand tall. Good. So modify the range. You take the leg as high as you can and the body as low as you can. Modify as you see fit. Knowing that it's this bit, the extension, whether it's here or here, the muscles are still working. Low and left. Good, well done, 15 seconds to go. Awesome stuff. Last few rounds, do them with purpose, own them, set the range. Here we go now, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome, make your way to the end of your mat. Send your feet nice and wide, chest up. Sink down low for your wide squat. Let's walk left to right. Keep the chest up high. Have the hands in a position where it can remind you. Once you've found the edge of your mat, 
walk the opposite way. Hey, and if you've got more space, take up more space. That's absolutely fine. As long as you're changing directions. <laughs> walk your way all the way around the house, all the way through the garden. <laughs> Coming up to halfway. Keep the hips back, keep the chest up, keep the knees bent. Lovely little bit of loading as well for the thighs. You'll definitely feel it there. Just over 10 seconds to go. You've got this. Little crab walk left to right. Last bit now. Five, four, three, two, and one. Whew. Shake it up, shake it up. Quick wipe of the face, sip of water as we get ready for our third and final round. Last time we're going to do these, and then we'll stretch and cool down. 10 seconds and we begin. So take your weight over your left leg, right knee lifts, find your balance, breathe, and kick it back. Extend and rise. Good. Now, if you want a little bit more, when you kick back, pause, then return to your high knee. Kick back, pause, then return to the high knee. Otherwise, you can just keep hinging, extend, and as soon as you've extended, stand back up. A little bit of extra fire as the leg extends, like you're trying to push your heel against something. Kick it back, then return option for you. Kick and squeeze and lift. Five seconds to go. Three, two, and one. Good. Change legs. Last time. Give them a quick shake out. Stand tall. Find your balance. <laughs> Left knee lifts or opposite knee lifts if you were changing legs. Here we go. Kick back. A little pause as an option before you lift again. Remember again the range is entirely up to you. The body doesn't need to come as low, the leg doesn't need to come as high. You can hold that little pause or move straight in and out one position to the other. Coming up to halfway, 20 seconds to go. Kick back and lift. This one always feels so much less frantic, but it's still very effective. Just over 10 seconds now. You've got this. Kick back, squeeze. Awesome. Last bit, five, four, three, two and one good make your way to the end of your mat or use the space that you have available set your feet wide lift your chest sink the hips down now this time stay as low as you can let's see how low we can stay it's a little bit more clunky a little bit quicker with the feet but you've got this good nice low 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 can your hips be about knee level they don't want to be it's hard it's hard <laughs> coming up to halfway excellent and by staying as tall as you can, you'll make sure that you're really using your glutes as well. Upright, upright, hips low. 15 seconds. Let's do this. <laughs> 10 now, 10 to go. <sighs> nearly there, nearly there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, awesome. <laughs> shake it out, shake it out. All right, we're gonna make our way up to our mats. Have a sip of water on the way down. Sit on your bum. Have your legs ahead of you. Have a little lean back into your arms. Take your right ankle over your left knee. Right knee goes wide. And you can do one of two things. You can either walk your hands so your chest is more upright or bring your foot closer to you or do both. You're aiming to have a nice horizontal shin level with your shoulders, parallel with your shoulders as you lean into it, nice and gentle. Breathe, breathe, breathe. First glute stretch. And then we change sides. So open up the body a little bit for more to start with. Left ankle across right knee, left knee wide. Either walk your hands forward so you sit more upright and or bring the right foot closer to you. Aiming for the left shin to be parallel with your shoulders. Sending the left knee wide, sitting tall, breathe. Excellent, well done. All right, release your feet, bring your feet together, knees wide. Ankles coming nice and close to you. Sit up tall. You can use your elbows to lower the knees if that feels good. And you can add in a lean forward. For the lean forward, it might be easier just to cup your toes and your hands. So you've got a little bit more purchase, but push the toes back down again. Good. Nice. Gently roll yourself back up. We're going to swing the legs behind us into a downward facing dog. So upside down V, hands ahead of you. Hips high, we'll take a little calf stretch here. So push into one heel, you can lift the other toes up, wrap them around the back of the ankle. Change sides. 
Push into the opposite heel into the ground, lift up the other toes, wrap them around the ankle, leg nice and straight. And then both feet down, heels low, legs straight, hips lifted high. So we've got our hamstring stretch here. So the hands are ahead of you, pushing the ground away, lowering your chest towards your legs. And we'll take a little walk forward with the feet, bend the knees when you need to. Gradually roll yourself up to standing, take your time, lift. Quad stretch to finish, so one heel towards your hips, standing legs soft, knees close together. There's a nice ankle click for me there. So stretching through the front of the thigh now, especially after that last exercise where we were walking, doing that crab walk left and right. Change legs, opposite heel to hips, standing tall, standing legs soft, knees together, hips forward. Excellent. Then do another quick little hamstring stretch. So let go of this foot. Feet hip distance apart. Slide your hands down your thighs. Keep your back nice and long. Slide the hands down the lower legs. And then find a position to pause where you just feel a little stretch through the back of the legs. Relaxing the head, neck, shoulders and upper body. And then you can step your feet a little wider. I'll turn sideways on. Bend the knees. Sweep the fingertips completed. down and reach up, breathe in. Sweep the hands down, breathe out, reach up, breathe in. Excellent, give yourself a round of applause. Thank you so much for your company, you ladies were amazing. I hope you enjoyed the exercises for today. We'll do the same again uh, next week. So if you're around at 11 o'clock, come and see me. Um, if you're on Facebook, guys, drop me a comment, let me know how you got on. You ladies on Zoom, thank you so much for your company. I'll take you off mute, so if you have any comments or questions, let me know. If you need to shoot off, just give me a thumbs up and let me know that you are okay. Perfect. Yay, here we go. Well done. <laughs> Fantastic, you were awesome. Thank you so much for your company. <laughs> Yay, well done, well done. <laughs> Thanks, Mel. Take care. Cheers, Sam. Well done, Debbie. Yay, yay, yay. <laughs> awesome, guys. Thank you so much. Let's see who we've got. Alex, Emily, Sophie. Hiya. Thank you so much for your company. I will save this workout and you can do it again at your own time. Mwah. See you soon.